aerospace. What is aerospace? Aerospace is the atmosphere beyond the Earth's surface. All spacecraft and aircraft inventions are important when we talk about aerospace and the aerospace industry. Aerospace vehicles are aircraft such as airplanes, helicopters, missiles, rockets, and space vehicles. The aerospace industry includes the fields of aviation and space. Aviation refers to the flights and mechanisms of aircraft that fly within the Earth's atmosphere, such as airplanes and helicopters. Space refers to space flights and mechanisms of rockets and outer space vehicles that allow them to go beyond the Earth's atmosphere. As you can imagine, creating these aircraft is very complicated and hard. If you wanted to create vehicles that could go past the Earth's atmosphere, you will have to become an aerospace engineer. The job of an aerospace engineer is to design vehicles that not only fly through the air, but also through space. Machines that travel in the air are called aircraft. Machines that travel in space are called spacecraft. Aerospace build, design, and test both aircraft and spacecraft. When designing aircraft, engineers have to keep aerodynamics in mind. Aerodynamics is the term used to describe the behavior of air around a moving vehicle. Knowing aerodynamics is important because the goal is to reduce the drag that the aircraft can experience. Aerodynamics states that if an object stays in a moving medium, then it is the same as the medium staying still and the object moving through it. In this case, the medium can be air. For this reason, flying machines are tested in wind tunnels to see how they behave when they come into contact with moving air. Knowing aerodynamics is essential to the successful performance of a vehicle. Let's quickly go over some aircraft that we may be familiar with. If you remember, an aircraft is a vehicle that can fly with the help of air and some additional forces. An example of an aircraft is the airplane. An airplane is a flying machine with a fixed wing on each side. They are usually placed at the center of the airplane. Another important aspect of an airplane is its engine. The airplane provides the fuel that allows the airplane to fly. A lot of forces come into play to keep an airplane in the air. They are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Lift is one of the four forces that allow an airplane to fly. Each time an airplane rises up above the layers of the atmosphere, the wings push down on the air. As the wings push the air down, the air pushes the airplane up. This allows the airplane to keep going higher. The wings act as an air deflector which creates the lift force. Weight is another force that allows an airplane to fly. Weight is the force the airplane experiences due to the pull from Earth's gravity. The remaining two forces are of thrust and drag. Thrust is the force which allows the airplane to keep moving forward. It is created by the movement of the propellers inside the engine of the plane. Drag is the resistance force, which acts against the motion of the plane. Drag is felt when the flow of air gets stronger. Another example of an aircraft is a helicopter. Helicopters are able to fly and move because of their rotors. A rotor is a group of several small wings that spin together around a rod. This is unlike airplanes, which have wings and no rotors. Rotors allow helicopters to fly straight and down, sideways and even backwards. They can even fly at low altitudes and fly still in one place, which is something an airplane cannot do. Drones are small unmanned devices that can be controlled by humans to monitor and capture images. Blimps are airships that can fly in the air. They are similar to balloons since air is used to maintain their shape. Fighter jets are a type of aircraft created to go at high speeds and engage in combat with other aircraft and carry weapons. Balloons and kites are simple aircraft. A kite is heavier than air while a balloon is usually lighter than air. Moving on to spacecraft, these vehicles are slightly different from aircraft due to the fact that they have to penetrate the Earth's atmosphere in order to reach space. In addition, space atmosphere is different from Earth's atmosphere. Space has no air. A rocket is an example of a spacecraft. Rockets can be manned or unmanned. Examples of unmanned rockets are missiles, and examples of manned rockets are space shuttles. How does a rocket work, and what forces are used? 
When a rocket is launched, the thrust from the air it releases overcomes the weight of the rocket. This allows the rocket to overcome the pull of gravity from the Earth's surface and rises up. In order to overcome the pull of gravity and enter space, the rocket needs a lot of fuel. The fuel in a rocket's engine is also known as a propellant. For example, if a rocket is used to take a satellite into space, it will require huge amounts of fuel. As technology progresses, the future of aerospace progresses as well. Many changes are being made in the aerospace industry. A lot of vehicles are being made with newer materials with less weight and uses less fuel. This cheaper production line can open up a lot of possibilities ranging from a greener planet and even space tourism. Like what you've learned? Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more future content.